Hi everyone, I hope you're all keeping well. Um, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. Uh, I got the Sanjian ATS 909X2 at Christmas time. And um, as I have said before with its predecessor, the 909-1X, one of the aesthetically most pleasing shortwave portables probably of all time. Um, I had the 909-1X and it was a decent performer with a long wire, not brilliant. Uh, on the telescopic, it was a little bit deaf, um, but uh, superb audio, uh, decent ergonomics, uh, overall uh, a good radio. Um, so when I got the X2, uh, having read all the various improvements that Sanzian apparently made, and um, I won't go into those, and I won't go into any of the kind of quirks of operation, and the, the, there's a few niggles with it, as there are with uh, most... Uh, shortwave radios particularly portable shortwave radios um when they sort of when they're new on the market all that's been done before and it's kind of why i didn't do kind of an unboxing or a kind of review as such because um it's already out there on the internet so uh i didn't really want to waste my time or anyone else's um i took it to the woods uh, a few weeks ago you've seen a couple of videos on that it performed pretty well with the uh extension uh, uh wire extension kind of real antenna the thing that uh, Sanjian appeared to have sort of copied from uh, the original version with Sony back in the uh, 80s. However, one critical fault with this radio for me is the audio volume on sideband. It is absolutely dismal. Um, and I first noticed it when I was out in the woods, which is obviously very quiet. And even then, um, on sideband, I could hardly hear anything. It's particularly bad when you're only on the telescopic because obviously you've got a slightly weaker signal. So... Uh, the best way to calibrate that is to compare it to another similar radio. So, uh, as you can see, I've got my trusty Texan PL880. Um, for me, the best modern shortwave portable um, all round, I would have thought. Uh, there's the Eaton satellite um, that I've got, which is goes close, but the audio on that radio is not quite so good. But this this will give you a very clear um, indication of how terrible the audio is on sideband with the uh, Sanjian uh, ATS 909X2. Um, I've got it tuned to 5505 kilohertz, that's Shannon Volmet, um, on upper sideband. And um, I'll just give you an example. So I'll just turn the audio up now on the Sanjian. I'm not even certain if the microphone on, uh, on my uh, camera will even pick that up, but... You get the idea. So, same signal on the Texan. Well, I can turn the audio up so loud that it distorts. It's, it's so quiet that you can sort of hear the cars passing outside probably more than you can hear the actual signal. So there you go, uh, Shannon Volmet, 5505 kilohertz, both on the telescopic. Um, the the sanjin has got a longer telescopic than the Texan, um, which I've allowed. Um, but um, even in the woods, where the only noise really is the birds tweeting, 
um, I could hardly hear the audio on, on sideband. So, uh, and I think that's a fatal flaw for me. Um, I've had it too long now. I had it for several months actually before I got out of the box. So there's nothing I can do about it. But um, yeah, unless you're attaching this radio to a big antenna or you've got a very strong signal on sideband, um, the audio is literally terrible. Um, I've seen it reported by others, so it's not just me. Um, when you compare it to the to, to the Texan, and actually I, I did a comparison actually with um, my Texan PL368, which as you know is the little um, uh, handheld with a sort of walkie-talkie type sort of uh, design, um, upright design. And even that, the audio on that was was three, four, five times as loud as, as, as the 909X2. So um, yeah, yet another flawed radio. It could be very good, but... Um, I just don't understand why the Sanjin engineers ha um, ha had to ha it, why it had to be this way. I don't have this issue on any other radio, um, but actually I do. Actually, the Sony ICF SW55 from about 1988, 1990 um, was slightly quiet on sideband, but uh, usable. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't get it. So. Um, if anyone asks me, do they recommend the Sanjian for DXing where on sometimes crowded bands, sidebands required? I'd have to say no, I don't recommend it at all. Um, you know, it's, it's so quiet, it's basically unusable. So uh, um, if you're thinking about buying one, and, but you listen to sideband, think twice. That's all I can say. Anyway, I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. 7-3.